Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be doing five different hairstyles that I will be wearing during summer. So yeah, but before we get into the video, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll, yeah, and <laughs> follow my Instagram at Laura double A Hargreaves where I post daily. So yeah, if you want to see how I created this hairstyle, keep watching. So today I am back in the bathroom and I'm going to do my hairstyles that I've been using, well wearing recently. So my hair, I washed it last night when I got home and it's still a little bit damp um, but it should be okay. So I'm just going to brush my hair through. I think I might just go in blow dry actually because it's still quite damp in the back. So let's go blow dry. So now that my hair has been blow dried, I'm just going to brush it back out again. So my hair is this hair colour naturally and oh, let's see if I can show you the length. If I tilt, tilt the camera down a little bit. I am in my PJ so you know. So that's my hair length. So it comes to about there, can you see? Um, and, ooh. So yeah, it is quite long, my hair. Um, I do need a haircut, which I think everybody needs a haircut at the moment and my hair is this hair colour naturally so I've not dyed it any time or anything before so yeah so the first hairstyle that I've been really loving recently is a slick ponytail so for this I have my hair bubble and a hairbrush and it's not rocket science but what I do is I just kind of brush all my hair upwards. I did find that when I flicked my hair forward it wouldn't, it made it, so I'll show you, so if I flick it forward it kind of like bunches up a bit whereas when you brush it up it doesn't have that weird look to it where it's like bunched up so I just kind of pull all my hair up also this is a fake tan I have fresh fake tan on so don't be panicking about that <laughs> and I just brush it up as tight as possible my hair does get very knotty really easily I also do use my comb as well, just to pull it all up. And you want to, when you do a ponytail, you want to kind of make sure that from here, the ponytail is directly above, so that kind of pulls your hair upwards. And then just secure with a hair bubble. like that and then just really smooth it down and then I use a hairspray so I use the Elmet um, L'Oreal Paris one and I just kind of do that again actually
and then I take my hairspray and just spray the top like that and then get my comb and just brush all of the hair up so it's nice and tight and smooth I used to hate wearing my hair like this because I have quite like a receding hairline <laughs> I do have hair here but it's because my hair is so blonde it looks like I have nothing there and I used to think that it made me look bold but I don't really care these days so yeah so that's my ponytail that I've been wearing so for this I do also sometimes use a scrunchie just to kind of elevate it a little bit and if I because I have my hair is pretty much all one length that when I you like put a piece of um, hair around I can be going around and round and round for quite a while so I find that having a scrunchie really helps to just make the hair look a little bit neater so that's that one and then I always like to well not always obviously but I like to transform it into a plait so for this I just like to have my hair as smooth as possible and I secure them off with a clear elastic like this so I just take my hair turn around and do this so I take my hair and section it off into three equal pieces like that and then I just tie it into a plait and make sure that it's as tight as possible so that then any if, if you have any um, layers then this should help to make them not stick out so I just plait it all the way down and keeping it really tight Get your clear elastic and just secure the plait off like that and then to make the pony the plait a little bit smoother take my elm mat again and just spray and run your hands down the plait and then that's the plait I really like this hair look I think it's really on trend and it's something that doesn't matter how long your hair is it's a plait isn't it really you could do them um, without the bobble so just have it like down at the bottom like down here or um, like this and then you can also like wrap it around like that so yeah I love this hairstyle and it gets the hair out of the face and it's really good if you're working out because I find with my hair if I'm doing a workout if I have it in just a ponytail uh, when I'm like jumping up and down or whatever I find that it can really get into my face and be really annoying so having it all kind of tied back like this, it's really, really good. So yeah, that's the st second style. Okay, so the third style I'm gonna do is space buns. So take all this out. It does also leave your hair in like this kind of wavy mermaid hair as well. And I sometimes do go to sleep with my hair in French braids. Um, if my hair is kind of like this really where it's still a little bit um, damp but it's pretty much dry because my hair takes forever to dry that if I was to put it in um, plaits wet it'd still be wet in the morning so for this I take my comb and part my hair into a center part Ooh. So you have two 
equal sections and then you just want to scrunch them up into two pigtails. This could also be a look as well, pigtails. And then get your hair bobble and tie that off. Really tight. So that's one side. And then just do the same on this side, making sure that the hair is secured into the same position as this one. Take your hair bubble and secure. It's like baby spice. So yeah, you could even leave your hair like this. Maybe add a few curls or whatever. So that's the pigtails. My hair is really long at the minute. Okay, so to take this into space buns, what you're going to want to do is just kind of lightly back brush your hair a little bit just to create a little bit of volume. You can add hairspray but my hair's still got that little bit of spraying from the plait. So like that, big and fluffy and then you just want to kind of gently twist the hair and just twist it into do that again. Can take a few attempts to get this perfect, but it does. It, I think it, this might work actually better with shorter hair because um, I mean there is a lot of hair here to put away. So like that, and then get your clear elastic. and secure that in to place like that and then do the same on this side so back brush a little bit and then get your elastic And then to kind of frame your face a little bit, you could pull some bits out. And there's the space, the space buns. These look quite cute with, for a festival. So you could put like glitter down there or in the buns. Okay, so moving on from the space buns. Oh, let's take them out. And then just quickly brush your hair through. And then for this one, I'm going to do, do a middle part bun. So what you're going to do is take the front sections in like a diagonal out. So 
So once you've separated your front two sections, you want to brush all your hair backwards into um, like a ponytail. And then once you've got your ponytail, secure with a hair bobble. Like that, and then hairspray all of the hair. And smooth that off with your brush. And then you wanna take these front two sections and kind of like brush it backwards like that and then this should go into the ponytail them down and then for the bun part you want to get all the hair twist it Ooh. and then get your clear elastic have a little bit stuck up out at the top and secure the hair and then these little bits at the top just kind of like So these are my ponytail, plait, pigtails, space bun and this. So five different hairstyles that I will be wearing this summer and I think that they're really simple, quick and easy and I think they all make your hair uh, look a little bit more put together without struggling so if you've liked this video don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you again on friday with another video thanks for watching